full moon was, you know, really showing off on Saturday night. There was a lot of trick-or-treating happening locally. Yes, oh, it was Jenna, so bright. Yeah, you warned us about those king tides too last week. Yes, yeah, so, so, you know, this is a season typically September or even sometimes August, but September, October, and November, maybe even the beginning of December. And the reason why is because the full moons during this time of year tend to, the orbit of the moon tends to be a little closer to Earth too. But when it comes to the coastal flood advisory, well, as Holland was talking about there is an advisory now this is specifically for Palm Beach County you notice it's not in the Treasure Coast but either way you know there could be still in the Treasure Coast maybe just a little bit of salt water flooding during high tide time now specifically for Lake Worth Pier it's about 9 45 this morning the next high tide but it should get better now one thing that also contributes to that flooding and even some beach erosion it's the wind out of the east the persistent onshore flow we've had it for at least a week now and it's been strong but take a look at the forecast wind gusts this is the hourly forecast these wind gusts are very low. We're not seeing them go into the 20 mile per hour range. In fact, we might not even get gusts. So that model there is just matching with the sustained winds for the most part, at least for Palm Beach area along the coast, maybe the winds topping out 15 miles per hour today. So it technically it's lighter, especially for the Treasure Coast and of course inland area. So that's a good thing. We get a little bit of a break from the breeze, but there's that front that's draping, pushing from Ohio Valley all the way down into Texas with rain. But that front will bring back the winds into the forecast late week, starting on Thursday. Here's a look at the Viper cast. So for today, just a slight chance for a straight shower, otherwise mainly dry conditions. Showers offshore to Tomorrow, I'm going to keep a chance for maybe a few popping up after uh, some of that moisture getting a little closer to us. Maybe early part of the day tomorrow, but as we go into the evening, things should dry out. By the way, it's a little bit bo better boating day out there. Seas two to four feet. No advisories, but just use caution. Inland waters at a moderate chop this time. Not so rough out there. That's good. But again, we get a front Wednesday. That is going to kick up the wind again Thursday, Friday into the weekend. Look at the temperatures going from the upper 80s to well, the low 80s or upper 70s Thursday. And by the way, Tuesday trick-or-treating, it's going to be muggy in the evening, but should stay rain-free.